What's up guys? This is Brandon back with Everyday Minimalists. We have ourselves another Civivi knife review. Today we're going to be looking at the Hooligan. Uh, we got the dark hazel version with the Micarta handle. Um, this one's a gray liner, D2 blade, and the satin finish. So uh, let's dive right in and take a look. So the box, I mean, is your normal Civivi box. Put that aside. And we have the pouch again, man. I love Civivi guys. <laughs> They're so good for the pricing. So as you guys dive in, um, I've already opened it up. Just kind of played around with it a little bit, but, um, as per usual, you get like these little silicon packs, keep the moisture out. Got those two stickers again. We got that manual. Um, it looks like it's going to be about the same exact manual as uh, the others. So yeah, just tells you that, uh, you know, uh, Civivi is a subsidiary to um, We Knives, which those guys, I'm, I'm, we're going to pick one up eventually. So let's refocus this and get in and see what's up. Okay. So the, the knife normally comes in this uh, We Knife Co. bag and it has Civivi branding on it. I'll just put that back in the box, whatever. You also do get that nice microfiber cloth with that nice clean fabric. Oh, they, they just pay so much attention to detail. That it's, this stuff makes me happy. It's just like free stuff with the knife, right? Again, in the, the case, you do have this like wool texture inside to keep the knife nice and clean, dust free. Really nice to be. Okay, onto the blade. All right, I guess onto the knife. Um, so what? First impressions on this blade is uh, you'll notice that there's like a snakeskin type of texture for the handles. Um, that's that Micarta, I guess, grip texture. And I actually really like it. Um, it feels like I could bring this out in the woods and like, you know, really just beat on it. And uh, the wear is just going to show. It's going to be like a pair of denim. You know, the more wear it's going to show and uh, basically it just adds on to the style, if that makes sense. Um, let's open her up and, uh, check it out. So this one doesn't really flip out too well. Let's, let's give it a shot on camera. Okay. I guess I can get it done there, but, um, the actual, um, I guess deployment, it is going to be a little bit more rough or not rough, but a little bit more sticky. I mean, it, it takes some pressure to get it out. So, um, I've been opening it up all day like this, just with the thumb. And, um, you know, it, it might just need to be broken in, but, um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll take some time and do it. Um, it is going to be our frame lock system. So if you guys can check that out frame right there, perfect. So, um, another thing that you'll notice is the actual gimping on the blade it is actually out there pretty far. However, I don't know if I'm going to feel comfortable with putting my finger and using this little notch here, cause it's so close to the blade that like. Uh, that's kind of sketchy. I don't know. I don't know what I should do with that. But um, overall, um, as far as ergonomics go, the knife kind of fits. It is going to be a smaller version. Let's just do a quick size comparison. We'll bring out the shredder again. So let's take a look here. So shredder is going to still be quite a bit bigger. I mean, this is a big knife overall, but um, this is still pretty decent as far as size goes. Um, let's do the closed. As far as form factor goes, when you're actually holding the knife when it's closed, I actually really enjoy the Hooligan. Um, it just fits in the hand really well. So that in comparison to the Shredder, I mean, the Shredder, you're holding something that's going to be more large. This thing is just really compact. It doesn't even have like a flipper tab or anything like that. Very straightforward to the point. Love it. So back to the blade. This is going to be a D2 steel. Um, I was inspecting it earlier and I couldn't find any markings on the actual blade, which I mean, that's completely fine. Um, as per usual, Civivi makes some really, really thin blades. So this thing is sharp as hell. Um, it will pretty much go through anything. I mean, let's just show you, we'll just cut up the manual cause I already have one, but, um, yeah. Oh my God, guys. 
two knives I own from them. It is insane. Both of them, the shredder and the hooligan. It's so buttery guys. Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, uh, yep. 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 Honestly, I was sitting in the office today and I was cutting up so much paper. I don't know if you guys do that and just play around with your knives. But when I was on the phone, I was uh, literally just playing around with it and flipping it open and trying to, you know, master this. Oh shit. Yeah, I can't do it. Let's, let's try it again. There we go. Um, you know what? The paper left some, uh, some fiber source to <laughs> use the cloth that came with it to clean it off. But yeah, guys, this blade is freaking awesome. Um, I'm still learning a bunch of stuff again. Like I said, in my other videos, I am a beginner knife collector and we'll learn a little bit more about it. Um, as the time comes. Let's move on to the backside. So, um, very simplistic. There's not a ton. You do have a lanyard hold here on the back and then that deep carry pocket clip. Um, you know, this is actually going to be a little bit different than the shredders. So this one, um, I feel like this one, it's going to be a lot nicer. It's a little bit shorter in length than the shredders. So I do enjoy that, but, um, yeah, guys, as far as handle goes, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know what to say. This is, this is going to be great for camping. Um, and I can just buy a ton of these. This ran me about 55 bucks on Amazon. I'll go ahead and leave a link below on um, where you guys can get this. But, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think we should do next. Um, this is just going to be that, you know, budget knife review and it fits well within that price range, but, um, I want to get a little bit more spicy. I want to get something nice next time. So if you guys can go ahead, drop a comment below. Let me know what I should get next. I really, really want to look into like Spyderco, Benchmade, um, Wii Knives, um, any of those other like nicer brands um, so we can get some nice steel and then a little bit more of like the ergonomics. So if you guys can, again, just uh, type in the comments below. Let me know what I should get next. Um, besides that, I think we're going to wrap it up. Civivi, you guys did amazing with this one and the shredder and pretty much any other Civivi knife. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have the entire collection by the time that uh, the, probably here within the next few months. <laughs> we're going to have every single one of their knives and we're going to post a review on every single one of them. And then we'll do like a final review of the entire company. But anyways, guys, yep. Go ahead, hit that bell icon if you guys wanna get notified on when I'm gonna be posting my next video. Hit subscribe if you guys wanna see more content and then drop that like if you enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much and we'll catch you on the next one.